Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to talk about a company which was founded in 1959, which is a pioneer in consumer and specialty chemicals. It has well-known brands across India. It's one of my favorite stocks. It's none other than Pedialyte. When I said well-known brands across India, let's look at the Pedialyte brands, which are part of the Pedialyte family. Now, if you are staying in India, you cannot deny that you have never seen these brands. They are so famous that you have, or you must have used it once or twice in your life for sure. Now, here you can see so many brands which Pedialyte has, but the most famous brand is Fevicol. I think everybody who stays in India might have used it for his project, for you know carpentry work, for so many things. There are many other brands which you might be you know familiar with: Feviquick, Fevistick. And probably M seal, right? You must have used it for plumbing activity, leakages, and Doctor Fix It. Even recently, Pedialyte took over Araldite. This shows that it is not only establishing brands but also absorbing competition. Now, let's look at the Pedialyte chart. We are interested in the technical analysis as well. So here, I have drawn the Pedialyte chart for the last six months, starting from March to July. Here, this is a candlestick chart, which shows the current price of Pedialyte to around 2,277 rupees. If you look closely, if you see from March onwards, obviously you can see an uptrend motion because the price has grown from 1,700 or 1,800 levels to 2,277 level. Along with that, you can see four lines which are drawn. Now, these four lines are moving averages which I am drawn. So, for my friends who are new. Moving average, I have already covered in my trading videos. But just to give you a summary, an average is basically any stock has a high and low in a day. So whenever it has a high and whenever it has a low, it has to have an average. So if we start plotting these points, we get a line graph, which is a moving average graph. Now there are now, when we look at moving averages, we can look at 20 day moving average, right? We can look at 50 day moving average, 100 day moving average, and so on. These are basically comparing or going back 50 days and plotting the line. So that's how we come up to 20, 50, and 100. So 20 is in red, 50 is orange, and the blue line denotes the 100. But my favorite, the baseline for me, is 200 day moving average. This is where I consider the absolute bottom for the stock because in an year you get two quarters and it's very important, you know, indicator. Now, if you are comparing or we have already plotted these four lines, so it gives you a pretty clear image that if you see them, it will show you the stock is in upward motion because none of the lines are crossing and each of the line is above so 50 day is above the 100 day 100 days above 200 and so on now if we consider the rsi graph as well rsi stands for the relative strength index now this is another type of graph which we can plot which is generally plotted or which is generally seen as a cloud between high and low now, highs are generally around 70, low is generally around 30. So there is a blue area, which you can see. The red is the upper limit, green is the lower limit. So green is 30, the upper limit is 70. And you can see the blue line. So that's where the graph's comfort zone lies. So whenever you see it has gone up the upper limit, you can say that it has been overbought. If you see general buying takes place or a good buying zone is around 40 to 60, which is the best zone for the graph. Now let's take an example. If you look at an example in the month of, or in between the month of May and June, you will find that it was around 60. And that's when the spike happened. If we plot that on the graph, it's somewhere around this area where it shows again a spike 
and that's nothing but your 50 day moving average which is a baseline for us this shows pd light is solid on the graph but that's not all you should also know the fundamentals so for that you need to have the balance sheet right so if we pull up the balance sheet of pd light one year balance sheet so we are looking at march 2020 to march 2021 you can see all the sales income expenditure ebit interest tax net profit etc let's look at sales and total income here so sales in march 2020 were around 1544 crores they dropped in june again went up in september december it was again picking up because the wave has complete march again 2235 if you look at total income it increased from 1558 to 2252 obviously a growing trend the income looks solid even in covid the balance sheet of pd light looks very solid now let's look at the ratio comparison here i have pulled up a chart which shows the ratio comparison for the last five years if we are looking at the basic eps which is earning per share you can see a growing trend from 2017 onward so year 2017 it was around 16.77 rupees it right from 16.77 it went up to 22.26 and if you see the last two years as well compared to 2019 which was 18 rupees it has still grown so irrespective of covid it has seen growth in price a solid eps yeah now let's look at the profit and loss statement now again pulling up a chart which shows you a tabular format of profit and loss divided into three segments income expenses total expenses finally and then finally the profit and loss comparing the last five years starting from 2017 march you can see total revenue in 2017 was around 5729 crores it went up to 7372 crores in march 21 comparing that with the expenses total expenses were around 4486 in 2017 and in 21 it's around 5849 crores so even though the expenses have gone up so have the revenue so if you are now looking at the total profit before tax in March, it was around 1,242, but in 21, it is 1,522 crores. Growing trend as well. So now let's look at the net profit because that was the profit before tax. Now we are looking at the net profit in hand. So this is the consolidated part. So all brands put together, PD Light's net profit Again, if you see 2017, 857, 2018, 961, 924, 1119, 1122 in 2021. Again, a growing trend, obviously comparing 2017 to 2021. There have been dips in 2019. The business went a little down. But overall, if you see, it is always a growing trend. Good for the company. PD light check boxes on both fronts technical front as well as the fundamental front now let's look at the third pillar basically the shareholding pattern this is very important from a demand supply perspective below is a pie diagram where you can see a clear distribution of holding between promoters foreign investors domestic investors and public if you look closely Promoter, which is in blue, holds 70.16%. What does that mean? The promoter still believes in the growth story. Very important for the stock. Having said that, let's look at the competition what PD Light has. So if you want to look at the competition, we need to look at the peer comparison. So this is a tabular format for competitors for PD Light. You will see not many people are operating in this space. You can see Godrej, Galaxy, Aarti, Vishnu. The market capitalization compared to Pedalite is much lower. They are not even in the same league as Pedalite. All these can be considered small cap 
in this space, which because their market capitalization is obviously less than 20,000 crores. Whereas if you look at Pedilite, it's 1,15,747 crores, total dominance. So finally, in conclusion, should you buy Pedilite? Should Pedilite be in your portfolio, in your portfolio basket of stocks? And the answer is, it's a pass, absolutely. With that said, I thank you all for watching. Until next time, cheers.